24-year-old Kate Levitt is suing her former friend, Jonathan Coward, for killing her cat when he threw a TV across the room. Miss Levitt, Mr. Coward was a former friend of yours. You were having a party. How many people were at the party? It wasn't actually a party. It was more just like a couple of my roommates hanging together. How many? Uh, I guess there was, there was like six of us, including me and Jonathan. On what date was this gathering? November 5th. Keep your voice up, please, Miss Levitt. Sorry, November 5th, 2009. What day of the week was that? It was probably like a Friday. I don't actually have a job. I'm just a musician, so the days are kind of, kind of blurred together like that. Is there any reason why you're moving around, Miss Levitt? I'm sorry. I'm fidgety. Uh -huh. Is your claim that at this party, the defendant got very drunk and broke your televisions, some televisions in your apartment, and as he was breaking one of the televisions, it fell on your cat and killed it? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mr. Coward says he was so drunk he doesn't remember anything about it. Right? I mean, nothing like that happened. Well, you don't know. You said, I don't remember. I was very drunk, and I don't it's know. It's pretty, pretty wasted, but I don't think I've ever killed a cat. I don't know whether you did or not. No. But you don't remember. What happened? Judge Judy continues in a moment. He picked up the first TV, and he threw it at the wall. And the cat was laying down right next to it, like in the corner. He picked up the second TV, and he threw that one at the wall, too. And that one landed on trips. And he didn't even make any noise. Kate Levitt says... Former friend Jonathan Coward killed her cat when he smashed it with a TV. Jonathan denies the charge. Okay, where did you end up that night, Mr. Coward? In this fellow's room, my ex-boyfriend. In his room, which is in Miss Levitt's house? Mm hmm Do they live together? Mm hmm And when you woke up the next morning, did you have a conversation with Miss Levitt? No. Nothing? No, I left. Before I mean, I made sure else? to leave. Before anybody else was up? Yeah, pretty early. I mean, they oh. sleep pretty late. Okay. They have, like, a pretty sedentary lifestyle. Good. I'm, I, I, no, 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 I don't need anything else. Okay, if sorry, I sorry. need anything else, I'll ask you, Mr. Carrot. All right, Miss Levitt, who saw him break the televisions? I, me and Jonathan were the only one. <clears throat> me and Jonathan were the only ones in the house at the time. Were the only ones in the house? I thought you were there with six people. No, they went, <laughs> to, go, they went to go rent a movie from the Red Box, and as they were out was when the calamity went down. So tell me what happened, and keep your voice up, please, and try to stand still. Sorry. Um, basically, so that day... I don't want to hear about the day. I okay. want to hear about the evening. Everybody was drinking. They went out to get a movie. Everyone was drinking. They went out to get a movie. We have a bunch of... We had, like, a f couple of TVs in our living room because her band uses them to do visuals when we play shows. And at first, Jonathan was just kind of, like... He was, like, batting one of them around with his hands. He was wasted, and he was yelling things about the Sky Turtle. And he was batting them around, and he tried to pick one up, the first one up, and he was, like... Kind of like, I wonder if I can pick this up. And I was like, oh, God, Jonathan. He's, like, been kind of destructive before in the past. And Jonathan picking up a, a heavy object is never... Just tell me what you saw. Sorry. He picked up the first TV, and he threw it at the wall. And the cat was laying down right next to it, like, in the corner. Our cat can sleep through anything, because we're a house of musicians, and everything's always really loud there. He picked up the second TV, and he threw that one at the wall, too. And that one landed on trips. And he didn't even make any noise. It just landed on him, and that was it. And then he picked up the third TV and also threw that at the wall. The cat was already dead at that point. And he, Jonathan's a lot bigger than I am, and TVs are a lot heavier than anything I can ever pick up, and there wasn't really anything I can do about it, even though I tried to stop him. Were you there that evening? I was. Stand up. Tell me your last name. Bert. Hmm? Bert, B-U-R-T. Were you one of the people that went out to get a movie to rent? I was, yes. Tell me what you saw when you came home. I was gone for about 45 minutes total, and when I got home, the entire living room was... Try to look at me. I'm sorry. The entire living room was a, was a total mess. Like, obviously, there's these three televisions which had been smashed. Things were just generally in disarray. Did you see Mr. Coward there? Um, he was not in the room when I got back, no. Did you see him again that evening? No, I didn't. Did you have a conversation with Miss Levitt? Yes. Did you ascertain whether Mr. Coward was still in the house? Yeah, uh, I found out that he had gone upstairs. Did you spend the night in the house? I did, yeah. I lived there as well. Were the televisions ever replaced? No, we have not replaced them. Can I see photographs, please? Yes. Mr. Burke, did you see the cat that evening? I didn't. Um, 
Kate had told me that that she she buried it in a shoebox outside almost immediately after it had happened. So by the time I got back, it was no longer there. I don't know if I'd buy that. <laughs> I probably would have been too upset. I'd buy the televisions. I'm not exactly sure about the cat. Judge Judy continues in a moment. Yeah, but I got a rationale to prove that you didn't do it. Just a second. Uh, I don't same. care about your rationale. Just saying. Got it. I don't care about your rationale, and I don't want you to say anything. Right, Mama. Want justice? Go to JudgeJudy.com or call 1-888-800-JUDY. Mr. Coward, if you can't hold your liquor, don't drink. True. Um, my friend was also there that night. He wasn't in the room. Well, I mean, he could shed some light on the situation the as far people, as the only living two with these people. The only two people were there with the two of you. You don't remember what happened because you said you were too drunk. I read your statement. Right. right. I got a rationale to prove that you didn't do it. Just a second. Right. I don't Same. care about your rationale. Just saying. I got it. I don't care about your rationale, and I don't want you to say anything. Right, he doesn't remember what happened. You weren't there. She was there. I see the pictures of the television sets. He tells me when he came back, the television sets were destroyed and on the floor, and she says that he did it. That's easy. Judging for the plaintiff for the amount of $1,000. That's all. Well, thank you. Step out. Honestly? Parties are no way that's over. Honestly? Step out. Judge Judy continues in a moment. I honestly believe that having this be resolved would be what could help there not be any tension between us anymore, but apparently that's not true. No, we're tough. We hate those people. I mean, they were my friends. They're straight. We hate them. I thought they were like my best friends. He lives there. He takes advantage of them. Check this out. Number one, I didn't get to talk in there. Got some real reasons. I mean, that's how life works, right? Kate is nasty. You just use people, then you move on. She's filthy. I have tons of pictures of Jonathan abusing other animals. So what he's saying is obviously crazy. Underwear on the counter. He killed a bird. He let the dead bird on fire. Never fed the cat. I have photographs of it. The cat died. It was a mercy killing because Kate never fed that sure. cat. The guy is crazy, but he's well, not a bad friend, usually. I didn't kill the cat. Jonathan didn't kill the cat. None of us did because we only smash stuff outside. He's an artist. We don't smash stuff inside, but we love smashing stuff. Gotta say we do. Don't trust people anymore? I don't know. That's ridiculous. It's really ridiculous, obviously. I feel like my life is ridiculous, really. 